The Nigerian Navy says it has intercepted two more vessels for alleged involvement in illegal activities along the Boni waterways in River State. One of them was laden with more than two million liters of crude oil suspected to have been stolen. Senior reporter Uche Okuru has details. When Navy personnel on routine patrol arrested empty prayer, they discovered that its automatic identification system had been switched off for two weeks. The technology provides information such as a ship's unique identification, position, direction, and speed. This is what enables authorities to track and monitor its movements. With the device turned off, Empty prayer was at liberty to navigate the maritime space undetected, an action that the Navy describes as a serious breach of the law. The 14 crew members now have to account for the source of the 2.5 million liters of crude oil and another 10,000 liters of diesel found in the service tanks. Her automatic identification system, based on regional maritime awareness capability center information, was confirmed to have been switched off for about eight days from 29th December 2021. The base has been directed by the Naval headquarters to hand over the vessel to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission for further investigation and possible prosecution. Upon this um, taking over ceremony, we will subject the, 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 the vessel in question and the crew members to thorough investigation and ensure that everyone involved is prosecuted. Empty Cebu also disabled its automatic identification system and went off the radar for three months. The Navy eventually tracked it down to the Boni Channel. So far, vessels operating undetected in Nigerian waters remain a major setback to maritime law enforcement efforts especially those targeted at Corbin economic sabotage. The vessel later switched off her automatic identification system until 19th February 2022. Consequent upon the foregoing, the vessel was arrest arrested for automatic identification system infractions as well as expired NEMASA certificate. This vessel was handed over to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency for appropriate sanctions after failing to provide valid documentation. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Boni.